These steps will show you how to set up farm equipment on your balance sheet. To do this, go to Accounting and go to Chart of Accounts and scroll down until you find the folder called Property and Equipment. Click on Details, choose Add Account. You will select the correct entity if you have more than one. The account type, you've got four options. We're going to choose Equipment. When you choose Equipment, it will assume that you want to use the name Equipment for the account. Uh, this is where you can be more creative. And I'm going to call mine, um, I'll just call mine Farm Machinery. And uh, you can have as many different uh, farm equipment accounts as you want. Uh, so you might want to have one for farm machinery. Another one might be like your trucks and autos. Just check with your accountant first. And uh, it really depends how you have things kind of set up with your depreciation schedule um, in terms of what this might look like for you. Um, but what you don't want to do is add each machine as a separate account here. Uh, definitely keep it more general, more of like a big picture, big folder kind of thing. So in my case, I have farm machinery. If, uh, if you want to add a subheading, you can. Uh, what's really nice about the subheading is if you have different types of equipment accounts, uh, you might just want to add um, one here called farm equipment. And that way you can kind of group things together. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Uh, the opening balance as of the start of your fiscal year, this is your equipment cost. So I'm going to go ahead and punch that value in here. Down below, you can go ahead and pick out the same um, uh, subheading account. And then you can choose the opening balance of your accumulated depreciation. And so for right now, that looks really good. I'm going to hit save and close and show you what this looks like. Okay, if you click the arrow next to property equipment, you can see the subheading account, and below that are my two accounts, uh, farm machinery and my accumulated depreciation. Now, if I want to add another uh, farm equipment account, I go to details, choose add account. Again, choose the correct entity. Uh, this time, I'm going to call mine trucks and autos. Okay, and uh, subheading account, I'm going to keep it the same. Uh, my opening balance. And uh, down below, I want to choose that exact same um, subheading account. Kind of keep everything under. And also my accumulated depreciation. And that looks really good. I'm going to hit save and close. And as you can see, when I get back to my balance sheet, you have uh, these four different categories here.